Hi everybody, this is YouTube user TJ Elevator Fan here, and today I would just like to take this moment to say a big thank you to all of my viewers and subscribers because I have now crossed the 13 million view mark. As of today, I have 13 million. 117,264 views and 10,949 subscribers. So to commemorate this 13 million view milestone, we have a special Christmas in July celebration of uh, my good friend Elvis taking me on a, uh, a tour of his guest house in Memphis, Tennessee. This was, uh, mm, this was actually taken uh, back over, uh, over Christmas, but we're uploading this as a special Christmas in July celebration and, uh, for 13 million views. So I hope everyone enjoys this video, and again, thank you for your viewership. Take it away, Elvis. Welcome to Memphis. Home of barbecue, the blues, and uh, my home, Graceland. Home of Elvis Presley. That's right, I'm Elvis, and tonight I'm going to be taking you a tour of my new guest house at Graceland. Here's the gatehouse, and we're going to be walking by. She usually recognizes me. And, uh, yep, she's smiling. I think she's recognizing me. Yep, she's waving there. Hello there. Good, doing a good job over there. And uh, here we come up. Here's the, the front of the the guest house. Uh, this guest house is actually a little bit bigger than the one that I had originally planned. Uh, it's slightly, slightly larger. Uh, originally I was thinking maybe four or five rooms, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe seven or eight, uh, you know, a, a few uh, close friends. And whenever they finally ended up building this, they uh, built it with 450 rooms. But that's good because that's got a lot of my, a lot of my fans can stay here. And it makes you feel just like you're staying in Graceland because look at this uh, front of the building. You can see the uh, the Corinthian columns uh, at the entrance. And the, the front here looks almost like the front of Graceland, only the, the house on the back is just a little bit bigger. Once you get to uh, looking around in it, you know, looking around the outside, you can go to the backyard. You can see the Founder's Garden. And this is a nice garden, and it, it is an exclusive garden, so it's it's got a gate. Uh, it's got some of my... Uh, uh, plaques over on the back wall and then a little bit of grass in there you can come and sit now this is only for the founders to come and sit but anybody can take a look in and and just look in and through the gate this is like the thing in my backyard a graceland now this backyard is a, a pretty big backyard uh it's complete with the swimming pool and like i say you got the founders garden here and uh, looking up we can see the back of the back of the uh, the guest house i mean at first glance it looks a little bit like a hotel and uh, that's uh, not exactly uh, what I had first envisioned, but it really turned out uh, quite nice. Uh, like I say, it was going to be a little bit smaller, but you know, when you when you create a guest house for 450 rooms, uh, 450 guests, it's uh, you can't really keep it from looking a little bit like a hotel. Well, let's take a little stroll through the backyard now and uh, see what we can find. You see, the this is coming upon the swimming pool. No lifeguard on duty. And uh, that's not really surprising because it's about uh, 35 degrees out right now. It's uh, it's winter time. It's near Christmas time, and uh, Christmas is one of my favorite times of the year. And uh, you'll see why when we go inside in, in a few minutes. Because the entire uh, place of the guest house, uh, I've had them decorate up just like Christmas. So there's my buddy TJ over there. He's uh, he's looking in at the uh, founder's garden. Uh, but you can kind of uh, kind of see him there. Well, let's continue the tour. You can walk through the back. Uh, you can see the walkway. We've got these uh, rocks that they uh, constructed the walkway out of. It's a really nice walkway. Uh, grass not too green this time of year because, like I say, it's 35 degrees or something like that out here. It's pretty cold. I gotta, had to wear my coat when we came out here. But uh, here's, the, here's the backyard. We have those uh, flame heaters. You see those those are the big flame heaters. And uh, that does, when we're running those, that does keep the back porch pretty uh, warm. So you can sit out here, even when it's uh, 30 degrees, 35, 20 degrees out, you can still sit out here on the back patio and stay warm, even in the wintertime, even at uh, Christmas time. You can still do that. 
Now let's go let's go around the side and we can go around the side here and see a little bit about uh we're going to see the pool here in a minute and uh nobody's in it tonight uh it's uh it's a nice pool though i like uh i like coming out here to it whenever it's a warm summertime when it's 80 90 degrees out pool really feels nice but it's it's a good pool uh a little bit different than the one we got over at uh graceland a little bit uh, a little bit bigger because we got to have like i say we got to have more guests and uh, it's got to be able to accommodate more guests but uh, come in the summertime, closed now, no lifeguards here, so uh, come in the summertime and you can check it out. Here's the back doors to the guest house. This is how we get out into the backyard, so that's uh, that that's works out really good. So let's continue on around with our tour and see what we can find. I'm looking over, I think that's the south wing, and uh, looking over here, that looks like the north wing, and uh, then we see the back doors, so that's... Uh, Let's continue walking around. We got a lot of we got some games on the on the back porch that you can play, uh, and uh, we'll we'll show those to you in just a little bit. Uh, but right now we'll continue the tour uh, on through here. Like I say, it's a pretty big backyard. This grassy area uh, over that we're uh, seeing over here to our right, uh, a lot of people decide they want to have weddings here. We do have a wedding chapel here on the grounds, but a lot of people like to have weddings. And you see, it's definitely big enough if we put some. Uh, some chairs and tents out there, and uh, getting married here at Graceland. A lot of my fans like to do that. Uh, I got a lot of fans that like to get married, so we were uh, we we're doing that too. We actually had a had a show filmed here in Graceland. It's a Hallmark show called A Wedding at Graceland, and uh, that was that was a good show. I highly recommend it. Well, let's go on inside and see what we can find. Now, right now we're entering from the south entrance. This is not the the front entrance. This is the south entrance. And the south entrance, the first thing that you see is the stairway. Now looking at this stairway, the first thing you notice is, I think that looks like the one in Graceland. Well, it should, because it's modeled after that one. But we decided, uh, uh, when we when we built a grace ha guest house here, we decided that we'd build a stair house, a staircase that was a replica of the one at Graceland. Because if you've ever been out to Graceland, you know that I don't really like people going upstairs. That's my private area up there. That's that's uh, reserved for just uh, just me and my family. So can't uh, I don't have guests going up there. But uh, they always want to climb that stairway. So we built the staircase here at the guest house. So if people can do just that. And now one of the features here in the, above the staircase is this big chandelier. I want to tell you a little bit about the big chandelier. Uh, this big chandelier was originally bought for Graceland. Uh, it was gonna gonna be bought from a mansion at Graceland, and we bought it. It was big. We thought it was big whenever we bought it, but whenever we got it into the house or into the mansion, we saw that it wouldn't exactly fit in that uh, the in the entrance way. It was just a little bit too big. It it looked way too big. So we decided we'd buy a little bit smaller one. So we kept this one in storage for like forty years, till we got the great, uh, guest house built. Then we got it out of storage and brought it up here and mounted it above the stairway here at Graceland. Got the blue curtains here, also look a lot like the ones at Graceland, because we always like to make our guests feel like they're they're really staying with me at Graceland, and I like them. I like to make them feel that way too, because it's uh, like I say, they're my guests. They're my guests, and they like to. They're here and they're staying at Graceland, and I want them to be comfortable here at the guest house. Looking down this way, as we're walking down the walkway. Now this is this is the walkway uh, hallway from the south uh, entrance down looking in toward the the lobby now like i say we got 450 rooms here so uh the guest house is uh it needs needs a lobby somewhere where people can come if they have uh have issues so we uh, we have our lobby now coming up here if you look on the right uh that's the shake rattle and go it's a, a little coffee shop uh, there and then uh, to the left we see ep's bar and grill now this is a good this is the best place or one of the best places to eat here we got two restaurants this is one of them. EP's, good place to eat. To so be sure you eat here and, uh, in a few minutes, I think we got some, uh, we can show you some of the food that we have there and I know you'll want to see it. There's my buddy TJ. Here's some, I'll let you see some of the food that we got. We have pretzels, we have pizza, and we have salads and, and, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a big old, I like that light. That, that big old light that's, uh, that's actually in the, the shake, rattle and, and roll across the street, but, uh, we spotted it. And then we also have, uh, look at that guitar shaped, uh, guitar shaped, uh, basket. That's where your fries can come. You can get a burger 
I served in the in our uh, guitar shaped basket. There we go, shake, rattle, and go. You can get a coffee. You can get bagels. You can get a lot of different things. I think it might be operated by Starbucks. I'm not uh, not exactly sure, but it's uh, it's different anyway than uh, than most of the other places. A good place to eat. So if you just want to grab something quick, don't necessarily want to sit down, come by the shake, rattle, and roll. Uh, it's kind of kind of a play on words for one of my songs. I think I got a song called Shake, Rattle, and Roll. But we don't want people rolling around too much, so we want them to, to get it and uh, and go with it and, and just have a good time. And then passing by here, here's our bar. You can come down here anytime uh, in the evening uh, and just sit around the bar and chat and listen to some music. Continuing here on the left. Now this room that we're looking into now, this is uh, this is just for the Founders. Uh, that's why it's uh, not too many people in there right tonight, because this is the Founders Club. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the Founders Club. It, uh, if you've got an extra $30,000, you can become a member of our uh, Founders Club. And this is a, this is a good honor, because uh, not for too many people. We've only got 250 memberships to the uh, Founders Club. And it's uh, for thirty thousand dollars. You get quite a bit to it. You get a, you get really a lot uh, with that. Uh, you get uh, and uh, oh yeah, well, look at this ceiling here. I, we'll get back to the Founders Club in a little bit. But this ceiling, I always like this ceiling. This is our lobby ceiling, and it's modeled after uh, the backs of my jumpsuits. If you've ever seen some of the backs of my jumpsuits, they got stars and they just got these patterns on them. Uh, so we decided to model the ceiling and the carpet like right above below the ceiling is a kind of reminiscent reminiscent of some of those even though even with that it still doesn't uh, match the all the color and the sparkle that we had on those but we tried to, to get what we could anyway there and here's the information desk anything you want to know just come and ask uh, and that's what we had a uh, decided to have an information desk in the guest house because like I say, we got we can have up to 450 rooms here, so we can have quite a few guests. So we had to have a front desk and a place for people to come. There's one of our guests waving. And he's a looks like he's a happy happy guest. And uh, some of our lights here is also uh, modeled after some of the things that I like. The chairs, uh, the chairs are modeled after some of the ones that uh, that I might actually have picked out for Graceland. Uh, that's uh, some of the ones over here look like it might even fit in the jungle room. Now, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is whenever I was living there, I never called it the Jungle Room. That came out long afterward. I just, uh, we just stayed there and rehearsed uh, in the room, and I just had a lot of friends over. Now, here we always have live music. And here's a, here's one of my good friends there. I mean, he doesn't look a lot like me. Uh, definitely doesn't look a lot like me, but he sounds a lot like me. And he does Elvis songs uh, nightly around the bar. And, uh, if you if you come, we have live entertainment here, and uh, he's here. There's some more people here sometimes, and uh, just uh, sit around the bar and have a good time. But if you listen to him, uh, I mean, even I was thinking a while ago, as I was coming around the corner, I was saying, I think I hear myself singing around there. How can I possibly be around there singing? Because I'm walking through here like this. Uh, you know, I think those things sometimes. But uh, then I look around there, and he's, he's just one of my impersonators and doing a great job here at the guest house at Graceland, keeping people entertained. Again, here's some of the the decor, and this this is some decor that uh, that you might find. Uh, you know, I, I decided to make people give people the full Graceland experience, so I decided to to have them decorated up just like the uh, just like things we might find at Graceland. And so, uh, seeing that, uh, that's what we did. So, a lot of the features that you see uh, are features that you might uh, might actually see at Graceland, or they're the types of features that you'd see there. But if you come to the guest house at Graceland, uh, I'll guarantee you'll get the Graceland experience and it'll be a good time and you'll have a good time for all. Here's our December events just to give you a little bit of idea of what's going on. You got holiday movies. You got It's a Wonderful Life. That's a, that's a good uh, feature. Christmas Story. Uh, Miracle on 45th, 45th, 47th Street or something like that. I'm not real sure but uh, the year. But and then we got a New Year's Eve gala that's going to be happening. So we just have a lot of things happening uh, in the month of December. One of my favorite holidays, and I always like to do it upright for all the guests that come here to the guest house. And we have a, a theater and a center tower, and uh, all coming in there. And we're walking down here, and you can see a, a gift shop. This is one of the things I always like because uh, 
a lot of my fans like to take home uh, memorabilia from the guest house. You know, don't like them taking the, the plates and don't like them taking the glasses and, and things out of the room. So they can come down here and, uh, and buy them something really good to take home with them. I remember, remember the experience. Continue walking on down. Here's our other restaurant uh, going on down. Well, let's uh, let's stop by here first. Uh, you know, one of my one of my uh, mottos, and I'm, I'm sure you all know, is a TCB uh, with a lightning bolt, taking care of business in a flash. Well, since taking care of business is always so important to me, I decided to give guests to the guest house a place that they can take care of their business, and they can they can take care of it in a flash if they want to, or they can sit here for a little bit of time. Um, can't sit here too long because uh, not too many people have a place to sit here, but it's uh, you can take care of business. And here's uh, somebody taking care of his business right here, uh, checking out the laptop computer. I think they're, uh, they're uh, Microsoft laptops, I believe. So let's come on out now and we'll continue our tour going down the hallway and check us out. There's the Delta's Kitchen. Now, that's a good restaurant to, to come to. And uh, you can also come, we have a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwiches at night. And the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are good. Yeah, there's some pictures I helped decorate too here. So I, I gave them some of my jumpsuits to, to take pictures of. And they have the pictures in the lobby. But right here is uh, where we have this little uh, circular area. is where we have our peanut butter and jelly. Um, uh, what's it called? Peanut butter and jelly table is what they call it. And you can get peanut butter and jelly. And let me give you a little sample here. Here's a here's some of the sandwiches that we have at it. We have, we make up some that's already made up with peanut butter and jelly. Then we give you some bread and you can make up your own. You can just uh, put as much peanut butter as you want on it. If you like a whole lot of peanut butter, uh, put a lot on it. And here's some some of the bowls with the peanut butter in it. And can give it, get, you can get that and just put the bread. M&M's, that's always a good thing. Now here's one of my favorites, bananas. Uh, peanut butter and banana. Now that's always a good thing to do. Uh, you can make you a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Always like those. At the peanut butter and jelly table. And you can come down here and um, see that. And this is, I think about, uh, they have this at night time, about 10 o'clock at night. It's always lined up. There's some marshmallows there. Now don't, don't put the marshmallows on your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I guess you could, but we got some hot chocolate. And uh, hot chocolate's really good. And, and so you can uh, put it on there. And there's a gift shop, gift shop shopping. And here's our Delta's Kitchen restaurant. Now we have breakfast at Delta's Kitchen, uh, as well as other other times of the year. And uh, this is the the breakfast bar. Let's take a little tour of the breakfast bar and see what you might find here. There's some cinnamon, some cranberries. Uh, I bet that's for the oatmeal. Uh, what's in this uh, bowl here? It might be the oatmeal. Uh, yeah, but looks like uh, oatmeal or grit. It might be grits. Uh, you can put cranberries on the grits too if you want to. And then we go go down a little bit further. That's uh, waffles, always a favorite. Put some waffles on, uh, bananas on some waffles. And there's the grits. So that might have been oatmeal down in the other one because that looks like grits there. Cinnamon grits and regular grits. And some sausage and bacon. Always like sausage and bacon too. And then we come down a little bit further. Now this is just a little sample of everything that you can get uh, on the breakfast bar. So I know looking at this, I know you want to go to Delton's Kitchen whenever you come here. Go to Delta's Kitchen uh, in the morning. I think you got to go before 10. But when you go to Delta's Kitchen, you got this breakfast bar. You even got fruit for uh, some of you healthy eaters that rather eat a little bit healthy. The sausage and bacon might not be exactly what you're looking for. We do have the fruit. And then here's the peanut butter and jelly table that uh, we have at nighttime. Now, walking in through here, the lobby area, let's go take a tour on some of our elevators. Uh, TJ's going to take you the tour. Take it away here, TJ. All right, thank you. I was, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now we're going to take a ride on these, uh, these elevators here at the North Tower here at the Guest House. Get out, see what it looks 
Go see what this side looks like first. Oh, this is just an uh, alcove. Yeah. yeah. These are probably the stairs. Yeah. Nope, it's just storage. Yeah. Okay. There's the pool area. Yeah. It's uh, interesting now because it actually looks like that. Uh, you know, this actually looks like a, a tea wheel thing. You know, it's got a tea wheel on the other side. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, but, you know, if this is storage, it seems like the tea wheel should be on this side. Yeah. That's very interesting. Now here we are, we're on the seventh floor in the central tower. Now one thing about the central tower is it's the only one that does have seven floors. Uh, the south and the north tower only have six. And the reason we got seven floors is because we have some special suites for you up on the seventh floor of the central tower. And we'll take a look now and see what we can see. We're going to be looking down the hallway and this is where it all is. Now, one thing you can see is this has some special amenities to this one, too. And if you look at this light that we're back to see, see the EP on it. And that stands for Elvis Presley. That's me. And I, I put my signature on this floor everywhere that we, we have to go. And it's got a lot of different suites. We have a little special vending area here. And we even got a microwave for you to heat up your stuff. And that's not seen just everywhere. But we got a lot of special suites. We got the TCB suites. That's a taking care of business, and we got a lot of those, and you won't, you'll want to stay in one of those. But we also have some Vernon and Gladys suites. Uh, those are actually good, too. Uh, might want to look at that. But we've also got some really special ones that modeled after my home in Palm Springs. we got a suite with that. we got an international hotel suite that's modeled after the hotel that I stayed at when I always performed in Vegas. So you want to come down, ask them about some special suites. I know you'll like it. Interesting, uh, walls in here, too. Mm-hmm. 
once these are like gone. Yeah, I think they're uh, patterned to look, you know, like the decor of Graceland. Yeah. Yeah, now that uh, now that TJ's down and he's giving you the elevator tour here in the central tower, uh, let's uh, continue our our trip down uh, around the uh, the guest house, see a little bit more of what we've uh, we've got here. And uh, here's one of the things, and and uh, you see one of our keys there, and uh, you you got a, a quick glimpse of it, and uh, it's got a picture of the guest house on the key to let you know where you're you're staying. And uh, what we have here is uh, is we've we've installed a state of the art fitness center, and this is uh, one of the things that that I wanted to do because fitness has been one of the things that I've enjoyed. And uh, out at Graceland, I had a racquetball court and a fitness center and and a new a building there installed at Graceland so that we could go and just have a good time uh, and uh, stay fit. Well, we didn't have the couldn't get the racquetball court here at the uh, at the guest house, but we did have a nice uh, fitness center that has the treadmills and, and elliptical trainers. We never had any of those ellipticals whenever uh, uh, whenever I was out at Graceland, and I don't think we still have them today, but uh, we uh, we never had those, and, and but that we installed them here. They're the newest things, and we installed them here at the guest house for our guests to be able to use. And so it's been one of the things. We, we always, uh, one of the things that I was insistent upon is that uh, the guest house would be the type of place that uh, people would want to come and that my guests would would feel comfortable and uh, feel my presence here all the way around and here's one of the the floors and this is the this is uh, let's see well oh yeah this is a stairway uh, so if you don't uh, like the elevators uh, we do have the stairways they have nice rails on them uh, you can see kind of what uh, there I personally like to use the elevators but uh, some people might not well let's go down we have some meeting rooms down uh, down this direction and uh, there's uh, there's one of my favorite things, TCB with a flash, taking care of business in a flash. Uh, that's one of the the necklaces that I would uh, like to wear. Like I said before, I I was uh, instrumental in coming up with a lot of the artwork for the guest house because I, I knew what my fans like, and I wanted to to come up with uh, a place that they would be able to to feel right at home here in the guest house. If you have a conference too, and you'd like to come down for a conference, we're, we're going to go to, down to where the the conference rooms are, and uh, this is just uh, that gives you a picture of what one of them looked like. Uh, but we have our meeting rooms, and we have a theater down this way. And the meeting rooms, we, we have five different uh, meeting rooms. Uh, all of them are pretty big, so you, if you've got a pretty good sized conference, you can come down here and you can you can stay at the meeting rooms because uh, they're all uh, big enough. Uh, to come down and suitable for for large parties so we uh, uh memphis uh graceland has about six hundred thousand guests annually that's uh, that's what they told me and so we had to have the guest house able to to accommodate at least some of those and if you like to read here's a take a book and uh, give a book this is our little lending library at the guest house we thought that important uh so we can um, do that you got the records as the book ends Here's a uh, here's some books that uh, TJ took home with him, and uh, here's uh, here's some that he even left us. Uh, he even left us some. These are I think his dad wrote those. It's the Foggy Point Light trilogy. Uh, I haven't read it yet. I plan on reading it. Uh, I hear it's pretty good, so you might want to to check it out. If you want to check it out, it's uh, on the internet www.foggypointlight.com. That's www.foggypointlight.com on the internet. It's uh, the Foggy Point Light trilogy i think they got two of them out right now so I'm, I'm anxious to start reading the first one but here's what our lending library looks like and uh, like i say you can take a book you can leave a book so if you come down to the guest house at graceland and you you have a book and you finish reading that book uh on your way down just leave it with us take another one for your trip home and that's uh that's what we want we want to 
to, to make it really good. And maybe somebody else on their trip home would like to read the same book that you read on your trip down here. And that's, that's exactly what, what it's for, our landing library. And uh, here's uh, what one of the uh, guest uh, conference rooms looks like. And uh, they're pretty big, like I say. they got plenty of room if you have a pretty large conference. Well, let's continue down the EP influence here to the theater. This is, uh, this is where a theater is, and we have a lot of events at the theater. And you can stop by. Remember that information desk? Remember you were, well, I was showing you the information desk a little earlier because we're, we're kind of big. Here's where you pay to park. Uh, we we made it really convenient for you to pay to park. You don't even have to talk to anybody. You just come and uh, and, and uh, redeem your parking ticket right there. Pay to park. Go right out to your car. It's as uh, simple as that. But you remember the information desk that we told you? Uh, you can have information about uh, what's uh, showing at the theater, any activities that we've got uh, going on at the theater. And here's where, if you're not staying at the guest house, we hope you will. Yeah, we always like you to stay at the guest house, but uh, we hope you will. But if you're not, you enter through those doors. And here's one of our, our nice Christmas trees that we got. Uh, this is the one next to the theater. And uh, we, we've set this up, uh, like I say, Graceland. Uh, Christmas time is a perfect time for Graceland. Uh, definitely come here at Christmas time if you don't come any other time. But uh, here's our theater. This is the entrance to the theater. And uh, we've had a lot of events here. We don't have, it's not all just movies. Uh, we've had some auctions taking place here at the theater. Uh, and uh, just recently we had, the, I think it was just last year, we had the screening of uh, Christmas at Graceland. That's right, really good movie, Christmas at Graceland. Uh, they had the screening here. The stars of the movie were here. Uh, we had a really good time that time that night. It's always a really good time. But check with the information desk at the front desk and they'll tell you all about what's going on here at the uh, theater. And you can uh, you can see if there's any movies that you, you might want to see. Well, now going back outside, here's what the night here's what the outside looks like at nighttime. And here, we've had a we've had a, a group come and they uh, they installed the the lighting. So we had the lighting designers come around the outside to make it really really inviting, uh, even at night. And remember, I was telling you a little bit ago about the games that you can play. Well, here's our sh our uh, uh, shuffleboard tables, and you can get the shuffle pool equipment inside, but. You can come out down here, and it's kind of kind of cold tonight. It's it's in the thirties, but you can still come out here and play a little bit of shuffleboard, and that's a fun game to play. So we have these uh, shuffleboard tables as uh, game tables, and over here is something that I find really interesting. You ever met, played the game Connect Four? Well, this is kind of like Connect Eight or uh, something like that. It's uh, it's like a Connect Four times four. Uh, really uh, a fun thing to to play there. And here it shows our outdoor heaters. Uh, they're not on tonight because it's uh it's a little bit rainy you can see the rain going on we get rain sometimes here in memphis and you can see the rain going on tonight so we figure it's rainy and not too many people would be uh sitting outside but a lot of times even when it's cold if it's not raining uh, a lot of people will sit out and just enjoy the the nighttime around back here uh at memphis at the guest house it's really uh Really good time uh, that everybody does have. And then we look at over to the right. We see the doors there. That's where the bar area is. And go in on a good night. You can hear uh, hear Elvis songs sung live by one of my good friends. Uh, uh, a lot of nights. Like I say, we do have one umbrella set up there, but uh, not too many people out tonight. Yeah, since it's raining, we're going to go back inside now. So uh, TJ is going to go take a tour of the the south tower elevators and he's going to climb up the the stairway that uh, takes him up there that's one of the reasons we got this stairway in the south tower because it takes you all the guests can can climb the the graceland stairway up to the second floor and then get on the elevators to go up to the south tower Oh, 
was impressed too. Yeah. So we need some key cards, but we really don't need the key card. Yeah, because the floor is on mop. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's got key cards, but I don't know why they have key cards, because I mean, you have to check in at the security gate for you to get on the property. I mean. Watch the security gate in the room. You have your deadbolt, your latch lock. And here's our clearly readable fire map of the central tower. And we are down here on the end in 665. And what kind of suite is this, TJ? This is the Elvis TCB suite. Taking care of business, huh? Yeah. Yeah, TJ, this is an odd TCB suite. It's because uh, we don't have TCB anywhere in it. So I hope you enjoy the TCB glasses as kind of a consolation. Yeah, Elvis is motto. Yep. Yeah. And we had to bring in our stuff, so all our stuff's yeah, right there. Yeah, because this is a uh, resort, so they get your stuff. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Really nice sitting area out here, nice and big. Yep. Yeah. You have a nice big screen TV over there with your little counter there, nice. Nice and big counter. Yeah. Oh, look at there. Yeah. Nice. Nice oh, yeah. shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, refrigerator. Yay. Oh, yeah. We have a refrigerator. Wonder if Papa has a refrigerator. Huh? Wonder if Papa has a refrigerator. Don't know. I don't remember seeing one. All right. And it's actually meant for you to use. It's not yep. stock. Nope. Alright. So that's good. Okay. Okay, and then you got your coffee and stuff like that right there. Yeah, the coffee maker. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, and this is kind of neat too. It has the openings where you can mm -hmm. adjust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so actually with this, um, mm, divider thing, this, um, mm, mm, you know, this functions as the desk. So this mm -hmm. desk divider, um, Except for the fact that it's uh, mm, all the way up and all, and not just part of the way up. This uh, 
and this kind of reminds me of the and plus the living yeah yeah is a lot bigger too mm -hmm. but uh, this sort of reminds me a little bit of the hampton studio suite yeah. just a little bit bigger mm -hmm. yeah and there's a drawer yep so you got plenty of storage space yep. in Looks here like you got four of them yep Surprises. No, let's see. So what's And that's the calendar, I guess. What's that? That is. Hours of operation and places to eat. And huh, so they have shuttles to the airport. They have shuttles to downtown Beale Street and Graceland. Okay, good. All so right. They, uh, Two mm. TVs. Yep. Yep, so that's actually it. So the shuttle's not just to Graceland, it also goes to the airport and to the Beale Street District. Yep, there's the phone over there. Yeah. It's kind of an interesting phone. Yeah, it is, and I think it's facing the other way. And, uh, no, you know? it's, it's, you can pick it up. I don't know if it'll call anybody, but pick it up and see. It probably won't, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's a wireless phone, too. Yeah, so. neat. That's actually really nice. Yep. Look at that chair. That's a nice and chair. And of course, um, in, in this being a resort, they do have your fancy amenities here, like the room service and stuff. Yep. All right. Nice table. You can actually see yourself in the table. <laughs> yeah. And let's see. We have the parking let's lot see, view. So what kind of view? We've Probably have a different view because we're on the other side. Yeah, we got the parking lot view. Parking There's, lot view? Yeah. Uh, the flash is on. I don't know how to take the flash I off. I don't know so. either. It's been doing that. Yeah, so. okay. So we'll, we'll have that to... doesn't really help any. That probably yeah. kind of hurts it. A little bit, yeah. We've yet mentioned we're filming with your new phone. Yeah. That you got. So, nice pillow. You're still trying to figure out how to use it some of the features yeah. so yeah very nice bed mm -hmm. let me go and feel it mm -hmm. oh yeah feels very comfortable all righty okay there's another phone over there and the oh, charging the size of this bathroom Now this toilet's not only in its little nook, but in its own separate door. <laughs> and, good thing for you, we also have a stand-up shower. Yay. I figured this room would have a stand-up shower. So. Yeah. That's always good news for you. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of different, yeah. Kind of similar to what Papa had. I love these, uh, these countertops here. Very nice, mm -hmm. elegant. Yep. Everything here is very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, we get two sinks. Wow. Yeah, double sinks. Like I said, this is a huge bathroom. Yeah. And <laughs> the closet in this one is actually here in the bathroom. Yep, alrighty. And we have a safe up there too. Yeah. You can go ahead and do that one too if you want to. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Now that we got more time, we were kind of pressed for time because Daddy and Papa didn't know where to come. Alright. Good job. So much. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. And that's daddy's coat, that's not somebody's coat. There's a hair dryer. Alright. Yeah, that's just so, a handle. So that's what do you think of this one? You wanna I like you can put it on the toilet flush. So. Okay, yeah, you can. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it though, because it's kind of a tight kind of space. A small type. Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay, this is a color too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Alright, and look at 
love that sofa. That's nice. Lots of cabinet space. Yep, so you definitely have plenty of storage space here. I like that knob too. Yeah, I'd mm -hmm. say everything here is very fancy and very elegant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more of the same. But yeah. that's, that's good. Yep. And this stuff is ours. Yeah. And this is also yours. Yeah. We found that at the depot and we thought. We bring it with us and look at it, actually in the TCB suite. Now, we haven't actually seen Graceland yet, so here we're going to take you a little bit. We're going to drive by Graceland right now and let you see a little bit about the decorations and, and where it is in relation to the hotel. And if you look in, uh, right through here, you can see the manger scene. Uh, yep, there's the manger scene and with the Graceland, the Graceland mansion in the background. Right there behind it, you can see that now. And then as we go on uh, further down Elvis Presley Boulevard, uh, you can see 3600. There's our gates at Graceland. Now 3600 uh, Elvis Presley Boulevard. That's uh, that's the address of the Grace Guest House, and it's coming up right now in a, a minute. We got a, a store coming up right there, and that's right next door to it. Now here we're coming up with part of our parking lot, and now we can see the Guest House out the window of the car, and that's uh, you can really see how big it is. We I, uh, as opposed to Graceland, I mean, Graceland wouldn't have necessarily had room for nearly all of the guests that we wanted. So we, we, we built this guest house, and this is probably one of the biggest guest houses uh, that we have uh, that, I, that I know of in the country, as far as guest house. This is looking across Elvis Presley Boulevard, and this is looking at the, uh, let's see, this is actually looking at the uh, 200,000 square foot Elvis Presley's Memphis. Uh, that's uh, Elvis Presley's Memphis. You definitely want to come and see this. Uh, it's got a lot of my memorabilia. Uh, you go to the Entertainer Career Museum, and that has a, some gold and platinum records, a lot of my gold platinum, gold and platinum records, as well as uh, stunning jumpsuits that I used to wear. I used to wear gold ones. I used to wear white ones. Uh, and they, they had sequins in them. They would sparkle when the lights would hit me on the stage. Uh, and you can also get in memorabilia from a lot of my movies, too, is over there, so you can uh, check that out. It's the largest Elvis museum in the world, and uh, definitely uh, you want to come here. You can also see Elvis Presley Motors Automobile Museum. Got a lot of my cars. Not too many people know, but I, I collected a lot of cars, and uh, that's uh, uh, most of them are on display there. And uh, right now, what you're you're looking at, I think that's uh, TJ and his dad. I think they're leaving. They're going down the road a little bit to uh, down Elvis Presley Boulevard. I think they want to go and see uh, Graceland at night because at Christmas time, Graceland is is lit up. I have blue lights around my driveway, and uh, you can see trees along the front of the house. It's uh, really nice around Christmas time. So they're going down there to check that out right now, and uh, it looks. Uh, and they'll be back in a few minutes. But uh, back to the uh, Elvis Presley's Memphis. They're going to be driving out in front of that. You also have a, what they call Hollywood Backlot. The Hollywood Backlot is actual movie sets. And uh, we have the actual sets used in the CMT show Sun Records. That used to be on CMT. And we also have the living room set from the, the uh, Hallmark Christmas at Graceland. And so that one, you can actually walk, uh, you can't walk through it because it's, uh, it's roped off, but you can actually walk by the actual set that they used that was the living room uh, with the piano that, uh, that they would play in the, in the movie Christmas at Graceland. If you haven't seen the movie Christmas at Graceland, that's another one that I, that I know you'll want to see. Uh, they got a couple more out for this year too. Uh, they had a wedding at Graceland and then they also are coming out with a honeymoon at Graceland in the fall this year. So uh, we've got a lot of things going on at Graceland here in 2019, as well as our uh, Christmas in July. And I hope you've really enjoyed this Christmas in July, because I've I've enjoyed uh, bringing it to you, and it's been a it's been a really good time. And again, you remember we were talking about the Founders Club. If you want to to join the the Founders Club, uh, only only thirty thousand dollars will get you a membership for forty years. Now, whatever, wherever else can you come up with a deal like that? 
I, I don't know, but you get a membership for 40, uh, 40 years for only $30,000. Uh, with that, you can get exclusive access to the room reservations, uh, special room rates. Right now, they're $71.50 per night. That's cheaper than most of our guests get. VIP invitations to special events, uh, priority reservations for restaurants, live events and concerts, and exclusive access to the Founders Club and Founders Room Lounge, as well as an annual gift on my birthday every year. That's right, you can get it every year. You can get a, a free gift on my birthday. Now, it looks like TJ and his dad's just uh, come back. I guess they've enjoyed their trip down out to Graceland, and they're coming back now, as you can see. Uh, they just drove up in their Jeep Cherokee, and you can see I've arranged for them the, the best parking spot in the house. Uh, it's uh, been a really really good time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this tour of Christmas in July at Graceland. I'm Elvis Presley. Have a good evening. And remember, TCBY Christmas. <laughs>